you know, there's loss. There's, there's a price when you don't do things God's way, right? God loves you. For those of you who are saved in Christ, he knew it, he knew it was coming. He knew how stupid you'd be today. Yes, you know how stupid you were yesterday and how stupid you're going to be tomorrow. He's good. He's got it. But at the end of the day, there's consequences to help you become more like him. Sometimes his grace covers those and lets you live, right? And he'll redeem those if you continue to learn. Okay, but how do you know it's actually the devil attacking you? Jesus was explicitly clear on how you know. John 10, 10. He says the thief, another name for Satan, for Lucifer, the thief comes only to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Then he says, I, on the other hand, have come that you may have life. That's not just eternal life. In the original language, it means the best life now. It's both. It's not just fire insurance. It's both. The best life now. You can have it to the full. You can have meaning. You can have purpose, right? I think something like 60% of the United States is on prescription medicine. Why? Like a meaning, like a purpose, like a drive. By the way, those numbers are almost no different in the church. Almost none. That's your Mennonite or something. So here's what the Bible says. This is important. It says, okay, so anything that steals from the devil, anything that kills from the devil, and anything that destroys from the devil. I would actually add a third one because this, this factors all a fourth one, sorry. Anything that accuses is from the devil. The Bible calls the devil the accuser of the brethren. And we deal with this harshly in the church. We do. We've started, we've drawn a line. Pastor Steve's helped me, no excuses. It's okay to ask a question. It's, by the way, God asks questions. Do you ever see God accusing in the Bible? Adam, where are you? He had just screwed up big time. We are all living underneath his screw up prior to Christ. Did he, did he accuse him? Did he accuse Cain and Abel? Or Cain? Not Abel, he was dead. No, he didn't. He said, where's your brother? You know, it's okay to ask questions as a believer in church. It's okay to ask questions in relationships. Hey, what happened? What's going on? It's okay to ask questions. Here's what's not okay, to make accusations. We say it all the time. We do, even in the school. Parents, it's, you guys are kind of crazy. We're two weeks in, we're learning how crazy you really are. And then I'm realizing I actually relate to that crazy a lot. So I'm like, okay, let's figure it out. We tell them, listen, you can come in here, you can ask a question about something. You can get clarification. You can lean into something. You come in here accusing, you're kicked out. We're not doing that. Paul told Titus, warn him once, warn him twice, have nothing to do with him, right? Why? Because they're, they're cooperating with Satan. Only Satan accuses. And I'm gonna tell you, this is a big deal in social media world. If you know more about the fall of some church in some state you've never been and some pastor you've never met, you need to stop because that's never the whole story. We have this cancel culture thing. It doesn't work. It's not godly. It's wrong. And you know what? I'm gonna tell you, almost everybody you don't know trying to get you to believe something that doesn't directly affect you always has an agenda. I don't care if they're on the right, left. It didn't matter. It's the same. Does that make sense? Jesus says, let your yes be yes and your no be no. Everything else comes from Satan. That's what he says. How simple is that? Yes, I'll do it. No, I won't. It's pretty simple. I don't know, that's free. Ephesians 6, 12. Let's jump in. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in heavenly places. So we see four levels of organization. You need to understand, okay, the kingdom of darkness is organized. And if God, listen, if you're not ever being attacked, it's because you're not a threat. Remember that. I love being in a military town. Man. I, I, I learn all kinds of things about warfare. And it's like, I'm going to tell you, they're strategic in what they attack. Like their strategy and what they're thinking about. They go after the most, the biggest threat first. And this is important because as a believer, you're sitting here going, what do I need this for? Well, you probably aren't doing anything that's causing the kingdom of darkness any harm. Just think about that. When you see other people going through it, when you see churches going through it, when you see people you know who love God going through it, it's probably because, quite frankly, they're making some splashes. They're pushing back on the enemy. Ephesians, for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against these four types of evil spirits. The first is principalities. Not much is known about them from Scripture, okay? But we do find that they seem to be more powerful than the regular demon. They seem to have regional power and influence. We see this word used in Daniel chapter 10 when the Lord sent an angel to Daniel, but the angel was hindered, right? It was a principality over the land of Persia. Did you know that there are demons specifically organized nationally? to keep a nation or a people moving in a direction. God had to send the archangel Michael to battle so that the first angel could get to Daniel and bring the word of the Lord. 
Next, we see there are powers. These are powers or powers of darkness as they are sometimes referred to. They seem to be more powerful demons actively engaged in trying to stop the progress specifically of the church. This is what you always see. Look what it says, Colossians 2.15. And having disarmed the powers and authority, Christ made a public, public spectacle of them, triumphing over them by the cross. What did the cross produce? The church. Sons and daughters of God, redeemed by His grace. 